Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the new automatic Navlink generation future inside of Unreal Engine 5.5. Basically, with the new automatic Navlink generation, you can have the navigation mesh auto-generate links so that your AI NPC or character can jump or navigate around the world more easier than ever. Previously, in 5.4 or below, you'd have to manually place these Navlink proxies if you wanted your AI to be able to jump or navigate to any mesh that wasn't connected to the nav link. But now in 5.5, you have these navigation links auto-generated, making AI navigation a breeze. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up the automatic navigation links in Unreal Engine 5.5. But before we get into the video, I want to quickly tell you about this video sponsor. Have you ever dreamed of making your own video game? Are you tired of watching millions of YouTube tutorials that don't teach you anything? Well, I was in your same position many years ago, and so that's why I created the ultimate Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course. This course will teach you step by step how to create a Steam multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5 from complete scratch. You'll learn how to create a drag and drop inventory system, a crafting system where you can craft different types of tools and items. We'll create a harvesting system and gathering system where you can chop down trees, you can mine rocks and pick bushes. We'll add a complete building system where you can build a base and a raiding and plans or tribe system so you can raid other players. We'll even add this open world map and show you how to host the game on a server on Amazon Web Services. This course is jam packed with over 250 course lectures and over 70 plus hours of content to help you get started on your game development journey in Unreal Engine 5. And I made this course because it was extremely hard to get into game development because there was no course like this that shows you start to finish what it takes to make a game. You can pick up the course right now on my website smartpoly.teachable.com or click the top link in the description below. You can get the course right now with a big discount. The price of the course will be raised later on and you don't want to miss out on this limited time offer. So take your game development skills to the next level and check out the course link in the description below. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So here we are in the 5.5 level. Basically, I can show you guys how everything is set up. But first, let's go ahead and just click the simulate button so you guys can see how this all works. So as you can see, this AI is moving along this spline. The different spline points will tell the AI to move along the spline, which point it should move to next. And as you can see, it's jumping across these different platforms because we have this automatic nav link volume set up. So it knows exactly where to jump and it knows that the navigation is connected through these various different arrows that you see here. So once it reaches the finish line, we have a little particle effect and we celebrate. So how is this all set up? It's very simple. So I have, again, like I mentioned, this spline mesh. So you can create this simple spline mesh by just creating a new blueprint actor and adding a spline component. Just search for spline. Then when you place it in the level, you can you know alt drag and create the different points. So that's what I've done here. And then for the actual character logic. So this is just a simple third person character. I've added some logic for it to grab that spline reference. So you can just expose the variable over here and select you know, the reference to the spline. Basically, once you have the reference, you can get the number of spline points and then move to the first point in that spline. And then you can do some logic to you know, basically loop back and move to the next point. You could increment once you reach that point and just keep moving on until you reach the next point. So that's the basic character logic. As for the actual navigation, so if you search for navigation over here, you can search for a nav mesh bounds. So this is your regular nav mesh bounds that we've added into the scene, which you can see by the green navigation. If you press P, that will show you the green volume which the AI can navigate through. Now to actually add the automatic navigation, which are these arrows, typically in Unreal Engine 5.4 and below, what you'd have to do to get that is you come to the Q plus icon and search for the nav link proxy. So you'd have this nav link proxy, which you drag into the level and it'd create these two different points. And so you'd have to manually connect the navigation mesh by moving these two points. So for example, you'd have to connect this green flat space down here to this green spot over here. So let me show you what that looks like. So for example, if we were to grab the nav point link, so we can draw one arrow at a time, as you can see and basically link that. So the AI will move from this point to that point. And then if we go ahead and duplicate this, we're going to rotate this 
And as you can see, it's a very slow process because you have to connect every single one. So if I simulate here, the AI will go to this point. It should jump when it gets to that point. But as you can see, it's very tedious having to set up each individual link. So let's go ahead and delete that because this is the old method. So the new method of setting up the automatic nav link generation is once you add a nav mesh volume in your level, you'll have this recast nav mesh default. And then in here, you just want to search for a link. And under the generation tab, we have this generate nav links. So just click on this button. And as you can see, it'll automatically add the navigation links or these arrows between the different navigation areas. So some of these areas I had to actually modify myself, but in the nav mesh link default over here, you can adjust the settings like the jump length. So how far can you jump? So if I set this to 300, you can see that the jump length is much wider, much longer. Set it back to 180. You can see I found that this was probably like the best value. You can adjust things like the jump max depth. So we can set this to, you know, 130 or 200. And now you can see that the AI could jump, you know, from this height. So I'll set this back to 90, which I had it. Now, as for getting the AI to actually jump when it reaches this point, what you'll need to do is you'll need to create a blueprint class over here. So I've created this new blueprint class and you'll want to inherit from the type generated nav links proxy. So you want to create a new blueprint and the parent class is that. Once you create that blueprint class, you will create an event for when the AI reaches the link. Basically when this AI reaches this arrow right here. Once it reaches that point, you're going to create basically like an arc from the destination, which is this point where they want to go, and from the actor location, which is the starting point. Once you create that, you can then cast to the character and launch the character, and that will basically make the character jump from point A to point B. So once you've created that blueprint, then you go into the nav mesh default down here and scroll all the way down or search for your class. And you want to set the link proxy class to that BP nav links blueprint that you created. So that will create the behavior for when the AI reaches this point. What are they going to do when they reach the nav link? Are they going to jump? Are they going to climb? Basically, that's where you'll set up that logic. So now, if you go ahead and simulate that, you can see that the AI now has a logic to jump from one point to another. And you can see that this is all automatically generated for us. We don't have to manually drag and drop each nav link proxy to connect all the navigation volumes. So it's really nice that this is now a new feature in Unreal Engine 5.5 because it makes making AI navigation a lot easier and a lot more automatic than it previously was. And as you can see, it finished the course. And yeah, that guy finished the course as well. So yeah, this is a pretty neat feature in Unreal Engine 5.5. I think this is absolutely a must if you're going to be adding AI into your game, whether you know you have the AI navigate or roam around the level. You'll definitely want it to be able to jump across different objects, navigate just like the player can navigate. So having these automatic nav link generation is a definite must in your game if you're going to be setting up AI NPCs or AI enemies. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this new feature down in the comments down below. Is this something that you guys are interested in using in your games? Let me know down in the comments down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.